Squirm Squad. Look, two statues. It feels as though oh, yeah, the end is here. here. Oh. How convenient. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> but wait, but wait, if I detonate it now, it'll kill all life. It's like the Delta Wave in Doctor Who, it doesn't discriminate. So there you go, guys. Throughout this entire trilogy, uh, Adam Phoenix has been secretly trying to create uh, a, a bomb that will kill not only the all the lemons in the in Sarah, but all the locusts as well. So if we manage, if, if, if we manage to trigger this thing, we will save the world, kill all the bad guys in one fell swoop. Again, the war. Reals this time. But, um, but there's a gears four and five. Um. Yeah, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah, uh, that's exactly the, my problem with gears four. Waves. So let's just say oh. gears four doesn't doesn't justify. Uh, I don't what know what it does. you guys are talking about. Gears 4 and 5 will be perfect opportunities for a new threat that aren't the locusts to pop up. Oh yeah, you know, totally. The new enemy is a... Hell! I mean, they would be good opportunities for that. Hell, you didn't even have to... Hell, hell, you didn't even have to create like a completely new ra uh, a completely different looking race or anything. Just create grotesque monsters just like the locusts and call them something else. Like... Uh, it's a it's like I said, I mean, I go, okay, what happened to the design team? Because like I said, across these three games, we've seen some pretty creative design work with the monsters. So how hard could it... I mean, hell, hell, the Lambeth themselves are supposed to be, you know, I go, a subspecies of Locusts, and they are uh, and they are very creative with the designs to the point where they even infect humans here and there, and we get lamb in humans. How hard could it have been to come up with something new, like... Look, for example, Evo technically moved away from zombies after Code Veronica. So like, starting with Resident Evil 4, it's technically more like a plug thing, which makes people act a bit like zombies, but they are quite a different variant here. Now, if a literal zombie series can come up with better creativity, what's your excuse? It shows, Soldier, it, it shows how creative... Go ahead. Even the first couple of Resident Evil, even the classic trilogy of Resident Evil games, knew that he couldn't rely on just zombies because, you know, human opponents tend to be boring on the long run, just them. So, of yeah. course, we came up with the fact that the T-Virus could infect also animals to have, uh, you know, enemies and bosses based on that. And even so, even mutations uh, like the Hunters uh, that and give you a challenge on that. And let us not forget the ever so famous Tyrant. Starts off as quite a bit to deal with in the first game, gets even worse with Mr. X in the second game, and then with three, there's of course Nemesis. Well, let me again, Jova. Uh, the Tyrant, the Tyrant model is a human injected with a special variant of the T virus, right? It's not like completely made up from the get go. Okay, here's the thing. The first Tyrants, yes, the problem was that it was incredibly rare for a human to be able to bond successively enough to the T-Virus. Whereas to the point where most of the Mr. X's that we see in later games were clones. However, when it comes to the Super Duper Tyrants, like, say, Nemesis, yeah, those things came from humans. Okay. But yeah, it's um, no, it's that's the thing. It it it, too, it really shows the creative bankruptcy of the people at co uh, the coalition because you can tell that I mean they were they were the studio was funded by Phil Spencer specifically for continuing this series. Problem is, none of, you can tell neither Rod nor anybody else had any really new ideas for how to f carry this franchise forward. So. And, and like and like, here's the thing about Gears, it's literally a world set on an alien planet. You could literally make a species that's a bunch of dragon people, and that would be fair game. Like, Very much. I mean, hell, okay. go for an alien invasion if you want. Yeah, I mean, hell, you could have a species from a different planet come in. Like, there was pretty much no limits to what they could have done. No, 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 really. they decided, no, we gotta bring the locusts back. I mean, granted, we do learn new stuff about the locusts. Granted, a lot of people to this day argue, T 
did we really need that retcon regarding the locust? Because a lot of people argue it kind of makes some things worse in hindsight. Yeah, Jeremy, it reminded me a lot of the Star Wars sequel trilogy when you're saying all that. Oh. Oh, right. is, is this oh, well, Joe, dwibs, 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 dwibs. That, that's exactly the thing, dwibs. The number of parallels between the new Gears of War games and the, the, the new Star Wars trilogy are astonishing. To give you an idea, dwibs, um, when asked about what he thought about Gears of War 4, Cliff Bozinski said, yeah, I thought it was okay, but he played it a bit too safe. It, it felt a bit like Force Awakens. He actually compared it to Force Awakens. <laughs> and then there's Gears of and then there's Gears of War 5, which takes a lot of similarities to both Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker. You know, a game that it came out beforehand, so wrap your head around that. <laughs> I love uh, oh, Marcus Rush. Ah, shit. Baird, fix this. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't start this war. You're ending it. There was a time when I thought I could talk our way out of it. Uh, what happens when you set off your glowy killer, Professor? Are we gonna feel anything that depends on how far the emulsion has colonized your cells Damon. do you have a fever intense muscle pain no then you'll be fine okay yeah, thank good it's... how did you know uh oh yeah that 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 keeps uh quite again for a scientist's point of view that keeps raising the question you know if you're certain about this information that means you have actually tested them successfully well what? that's in whom though well that well that's your hint then uh okay let's take care of these lambent i guess um but yeah no no that's no. the thing that's exactly the pro the thing dwebs the gears of war new game the coalition game specifically um Judgment and tactics are okay, uh, so I don't really count those. It's more but so what the. About the funk of folk? If I, if I, uh, yeah, there's a similarity, uh, Pedro. Yeah, when they moved to a new, uh, when, they, when, they, when a franchise moves to a new company, they make more um, main stuff, but they also make some side stuff as well. But the second product of the sides. So what's going to happen is uh, Gears Tactics going to flop just like Solo. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Well, okay, so let, uh, let me let me check this to see if I can find anything well, on the sales the, of your uh, statics. I, I, I think uh, in terms of the side material comparison, you you probably can compare tactics instead to Rebels uh, or the new season of Clone Wars. Uh, or well, the I new series. Actually, I haven't checked uh, what's the, how the how the new series. Uh, well, I mean, they made the resistance. So. I mean, isn't Gears Tactics a uh, prequel to uh, the series for Solo as, so, as well? So he's, well, uh, so he's technically sorry. rebels at start. So. Okay, okay, okay. Let me put it. This. Gears Tactics is technically a prequel to the series, but it's also kind of more a prequel focused on the newer games. It, it's a, weird. A prequel of sorts. Actually, no. I mean, yeah, you you play as Kate's father, but there's literally no references to four and five. No connection of any kind, really. Well, that's my point, though, Michael. You're playing as the parent of Kate in the sense, like. Of that focus. Like, it, as, it, as, aside weird. from the multiplayer purposes, uh, like, do you run into some of the classic characters nope. of the tree? The you... only characters from the main games that show up are uh, Reyna, who, who's uh, a character that shows up in Gears 4, and uh, Prescott. That's literally the only. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess that uh, means what I mean, Joe mentioned. Yeah. Like, uh, it technically, yes, it's still a prequel for the franchise as a whole, but it doesn't really touch upon uh, the. The classic trilogy, aside from the fact that the locals are the enemies. Like, yeah, there's technically Prescott, but Prescott's kind of a stretch. Like, okay. Oh my god, <laughs> seriously. These oh, grappling hooks. Oh. oh dear. Gone. Yeah, Prescott is technically an original character from the original trilogy, <laughs> but he's not really the character you immediately think of when you think of original trilogy. It's sort of like if, per se, your representation for the original Star Wars trilogy, you immediately thought. Uh, Admiral wedge. Tarkin. I was gonna actually, I was gonna say wedge. Because, Admiral yeah, yeah. Was, I mean, I will get. Too. Hell, oh, one oh, thing oh. I one I thing better. Mom, Alpha. One thing yeah. I will say that's it, one thing I will say that was definitely different between both franchises is that, unlike Star Wars, where we already had prequels, Whoa. so so of course they had to move the franchise forward in that regard. The prequel, sorry, the Gears of War series has plenty, and I mean. Plenty 
of comic book material that they, they, they could adapt into games specifically the pre specifically the the pendulum wars aka uh what, the civil war between humans before the locust showed up you know Hell, that, the pendulum that, war even that, gets talked about occasionally that, in the, the games that, too that's an entire <laughs> like the, the pendulum wars covers an entire story story arc of comics you could literally make a trilogy a new trilogy, a prequel trilogy based on the fucking Pendulum Wars. There you go. See, even your creative bankruptcy is not, not an excuse because you have plenty of comics that can serve as your material. There you go. Uh, you, you I love how the, how the game had to wait, uh, how they had you to wait until the, the game deemed that the elevator would have to be, you know, at this lodge, but your partner had to stay. Sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. That's okay. Again, if you didn't, you couldn't, you couldn't come up with anything. Uh, that made a Gears 4 uh, doable again. May, do the Pendulum Wars. That's that. W fans would have a million times preferred, and I I, I know what I'm saying by the way. F m fans would infinitely prefer if you adapted some of the comics into video games. You would allow it would allow uh, it would allow uh, people like me to get more familiarized with those comic stories. You know, it would and and would be a great way to keep milking the franchise in a way that's technically safe but at the same time appreciated there you go it's it's literally a foolproof plan like how the hell raw didn't come up with this conclusion i have no idea like <laughs> i mean it can it can't be even like a thing of oh we cannot have human like human proper human opponent because if i recall correctly the multiplayer works entirely what can it, work entirely on that too yeah so it really is Again, I think that's what makes, you know, the Gears of War franchise ever since free really baffling. This is the case, it's like they had so much on a silver platter for them. Like, okay, like I said before, when it comes to coming up with a new enemy for later games, they had unbelievable amount of potential here and there. Now, yes, one could argue that we didn't know all we could about the Locust. But that's the thing. I honestly feel like by three, we know enough about the locusts. Like we know that the locusts were created stuff. Now there is something with that certain character. But oh god, uh, as Pedro was seen, the stuff involving that character is iffy at best. It's more so the fact that it it's it comes off. It, it, it ends up honestly, Joe. But my main problem with Kate's backstory is more so that it it becomes pointless in the grand scheme of things. But that's all. So for now. It's it's literally nothing but pointless bickering. Most of that game's story, Gears Five, I mean, is pointless bickering that goes nowhere. Oh, but, but don't you see, Marcus is out of touch with his son and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you want to have a story like that? Cool, I'm okay with that. Can we focus on that though? That's not bad, Jay. Well, don't you see, Pedro? We also had to downgrade JD from main protagonist to more so. That's exact. That's exactly my problem. <laughs> It's not even just that. Yeah. It's not even just that. It's the fact that uh, they pull a Legend of Korra and imply that Marcus is a bad father because, according to JD in Gears Five, Marcus uh, and according to the the comic that, that takes place in between both games, apparently after Gears Four, Marcus decided to, to take uh, Kate under his wing and go on missions with her. Yeah, let, let, yeah. I'm not. Uh, why yeah, would I? Would, it because why he why would Kate better than his own and, and, son? And and, and 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 JD resents that. Which, to his credit, he should. Like, who the hell thought it was a great idea to have Marcus turn up? Hey, Dwebs, you were you were afraid that Layton's Mr. Jennings was gonna that the Layton, Layton era was gonna turn Herschel into a deadbeat dad, and it didn't. Uh, guess what? They were no. It was Gears of War that did that. <laughs> Just <laughs> apparently. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, speaking of the franchise, like this would would like the dude bro aspect would have. Uh, you know, the proud father teaching his son well, how to mold, to mold the monsters. Uh, well, Pedro, at that, well, Pedro, at that point, I was only really tangibly aware of Gears at that point, like... The oh, there's no, I know, I, know, I know that. Oh, there's Mira. Because I am your... No, wait, no. Oh, well, it's about time we can find a shooter. So, so, the the, 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 the dwebs, uh, sa save that for the ending of Gears 4, dwebs. We'll, 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 yeah. get, we'll get that, but, at, but in Gears 4. <laughs> yes. Jesus Christ, these It's to say to you, the uh, Locust Queen ain't going down without a fight. So, basically, okay, so I, I think I get this fight. 
Um, you have to make sure you um, get behind the pillars because she has a giant fuck you laser, and if the laser hits you, you fly to a crisp. Very good, Whips. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, exactly. That's the basic gist of it. Uh, well, Jova, we've been building up to this freaking bitch for three games now, so she, yeah. sh so she should be a challenge. You know. And what a climax it's gonna be. Okay, 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 guys, I got an idea. Get the biggest mirror in this entire building and make it so that the light will reflect back on her and she'll blow up. Ah, did you hear that, you and Gwibs? Did you hear that, you and Gwibs? Apparently, she gave Marcus's dad 20 years to deal with the lamb. You have to really be careful with her fuck you laser, though, because uh, even on the easiest difficulty, which is the one I'm playing at, uh, the fuck you laser practically kills you one hit if it hits you that on. Uh, well, I'll, 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 the laser touched you for a second a little bit earlier, though. Yeah, but, 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 but yeah. Exactly, exactly what I said was for a second, I, I meant dead on. Like, if you literally, like, if you're literally right in front of her mouth when she shoots it. Like, you, uh, you were saying, yeah. Um, but yeah, you may have noticed how she mentioned that she gave Marcus's dad 20 years to, to work on the Lamb and Cure, which is interesting because. <laughs> That makes it sound like a bloody challenge some the some geeks give each other. Well, you have twenty years to blow up to blow up my plan, otherwise I'll take over. I like the, okay. I like the visual effect of every time she fires her laser, regardless of whether or not you're hit. Um the, they spread some fire uh over the screen. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Marcus. It beats being, it's either that or be roasted, so it's not like we have much choice. Yeah, also gotta give Prescott credit. He definitely patches up his pillars with something well if they can resist whatever her beast shoots at us. Indeed. Yeah, it seems to be a beam of light, but it's obviously super heating. There we go. What was that above me? Nothing. That was just the sound of victory for me! It, it, they just call it Chekhov. Yes. Okay, how does she not hear that? Well, to be fair, there's a lot going on, and as far as she can hear, she's, she's probably hearing the beating of her beast's wings. Yeah, so dude, so she's riding a giant gadfly. What do you think? There you go. I don't know, I thought, I thought she'd at least heard something amiss. Okay, okay, okay. From the perspective of somebody who's riding a plane, when you're riding a plane itself, you can hear the jet engines over a lot of other stuff. So let's assume that that thing is like a mini plane, and and its wings are the engine. Probably she's she's probably relying more on go. sight than sound. Bong. Dong. There. Wow. How's that for interior decorating? Oh. Well, shit. Oh boy. What the hell is that thing? Remember that it's the, 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 lamb, the lambent's uh, tentacles, things that to reproduce. Uh... Oh. I do not want to see its tentacles. <laughs> I don't want to see its T word. Thank you very much. Oh, trust me, you don't want to see what will happen if that thing well, gets its hands on well, you. Well, 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 Dwiz, when Adam sets off his bomb, you won't have to see any of it anymore. Don't worry. Until four. Oh. I, I know, but. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 there you go. <laughs> hey, 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 that's another similarity to the new Star Wars trilogy. But I thought we were done with these guys. Nope! Don't waste they time. were, uh, just Don't in hiding. But oh, we yeah. really oh. didn't destroy them. Nope! They were, uh, there all along. There's a service hatch in the shaft somewhere. We're looking. Jack, slow the lift. That's it, Jack. Stop the lift. Okay, I really need to know what Mira was yapping about. She knew your dad before E-Day? How? I mean, 
She looks human. Did she join the Locust Country Club for shits and giggles or something? Yeah, actually, that I'm good sure that's a good question. <laughs> She, yeah, yeah. She joined the Locust because she was bored. I mean, you know, I don't uh, blame her, I guess. Actually, but, no, you know, it was Mira's the one who started the Locust Horde. But again, we'll get details yeah, about I know, that. I know, in... I know, I know. It, was, it was a joke. Yeah, yeah. We'll, but, we'll, we'll uh, get into details of that in Gears 5. Go ahead, though. But no, Jova, I, maybe you're no better than me. Have you seen the new uh, Star Wars cartoon that they made recently, Resistance? Uh, uh, resistance. The uh, one that is basically, in, uh, you know, take bridging the bridging song gaps in the, in the sequel trilogy between uh, season one. I think it's between episode seven and eight. Uh, oh, and season two between episode eight and nine. Doesn't Resistance also occasionally reproduce scenes from the original trilogy? I don't know, Joe, but animated. That's why I'm asking if you know. Yeah, that, that yeah, I think I've seen that. Not a big fan, I'll admit, but yes. Yeah. What what do you have to ask? Well, I've, I've wanted to know since I liked Clone Wars uh, and the later parts of, Re of uh, Rebels. Uh, I wanted to know how that was. Okay, okay, okay. Chances are you might like it. Chances are you might dislike it, though. Okay, okay. In terms of delivering important war, it's not the most important, but it does give certain characters from the neutral G more screen time that they should have had. <coughs> Phasma. Well, I mean, that's the thing, Jova. Um, I mean, if you have to rely on the side material to get more screen time for characters with potential, then well, yeah, I don't know yeah, it's kind of like uh, yeah, yeah, it's kind, it's kind of like what um, it's kind of like what Dark Lord Jota One said in his Order eighteen eighty six review. Like, uh, there's a lot of details about that story <laughs> where you have to go back and read on the real people that the story is based on, uh, yeah. in order in order to understand certain details. And you know, like, uh, uh, and, and, and he also makes that argument. Yeah, yeah. In order to understand the primary uh, 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 aspects of the story, you have to do some homework. Again, it's. Okay. The, I, mean, I can answer you even on that. The film bother. It's not even worthy even in that case. I mean, okay. if it was just, if it was just like a, if it was just like a little side plot or something, then fair enough. But that's that's the main plot. That's the problem. Okay, I'll just tell it like it is, Tio. Resistance is like a collection of all these mini stories here, sort of like Rebels, but on a much smaller scale here and there. Mm -hmm. So I think that there is something to enjoy here. I'll admit, though, something about it, I didn't get as much enjoyment out of it as I did with Rebels and Clone Wars. But who knows? There might be something for you there. I'd say well, I mean, it's Rebels, worth a Well, how is well, I, mean, I mean, Rebels is, Rebels is kind of a thing. Besides, from, from what I've seen, Rebels is kind of a smaller scale Clone Wars anyway. It is, it, 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 It's a case of a show that grew the beard as time went on because you remember that yeah. I kept saying that the first impression from the other show was awful. Again, a laser, oh, yeah. a, a laser sling shot. Are you fucking well, kidding me? Well, I, mean, well, I, mean, I mean, the Clone Wars had that issue too. Well, that you... You know what I'm talking about, Lord Weems. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, was saying, I, know, I know what you mean. You know, um, I mean, I mean, the first two, you know, chronological episodes were just okay. The movie was shit, and uh, yeah, then there was everything else. To well, me, okay, Weems, Weems, Weems. I disliked the movie, but not necessarily for the plot. If that's what you're talking about. Um, no, it's the fact that I was talking about the fact that Rebels started with the impression that it was supposed to be like Star Wars for, very, for a very young audience, but thankfully almost immediately decided to pick up and actually be more like Clone Wars. Hell yeah. It says something that at that point in time, one of the things people remember the most fondly about Rebels are the scenes with Ahsoka. Again, showing how far she's come. Yeah, again, yeah, which, which was interesting. Giving her closure off, and all. She, she, you know, which is funny, because in Clone Wars, she couldn't, got, she couldn't have got off to a worse start if you tried. <laughs> Think it was, yeah. have you seen uh, the last season of Clone Wars? I thought it was actually pretty yes, stellar. Uh, on, on, honestly, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I actually forgot, the, yeah, the Dave Filoni is still behind the project, right? Yeah, yep, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 so basically, it, seem, it really seems Dave Filoni is still the only one who actually understands uh, what Star Wars is supposed to be. So... Maybe they, well, uh, maybe they uh, should uh, put him in charge of the, of the franchise in general, maybe then. Well, <laughs> I let's know, keep right? Kathleen Kennedy, because why not? Uh, 
Anyway, but, but yeah, that was, to me, further up, oh, go on. to me, it just comes across. To finish my argument, to me, it comes honestly, to me, it just comes across as uh, uh, lazy writing because I've seen so many other works do that just fine. The Eternal Diva movie, all it needed was five minutes to put all newcomers to Layton uh, up to speed. Within that that opening five minutes, you immediately know everything you need to know uh, about the Layton franchise and who these characters are, what do mm. they do, and there you go. I we, mean, we can start the story but, and not even bother with. Um, uh, but I mean, but I mean, there was, I mean, there was that bit where I bragged about how many games you this it sold, but still. <laughs> it, it also helps that uh, Layton has a sort of an ontological structure in a sense that yes, it does care about its own continuity. But due to the stru with the structure of the m most uh, of the games, at least, uh, Azeron Legacy is really the big exception when you get down to it. Uh, um, the most of the structure of the games uh, are so are very self-contained adventures. So, if, as a reflection of that, uh, the Eternal Diva can be can, could be picked up as just a simple, you know, adventure of uh, this particular archetype uh, of adventurer that Dayton is. Uh, Mm -hmm. How the ending of Laden Free literally has an after credits bit that suggests that you may not have played uh, the second game. Well, yeah, no, no. I'm, uh, yeah, well, Laden Free is much more enjoyable if you've played the previous ones because it it's basically a big culmination. Um, but it's still uh, perfectly self-contained and understandable if you play it. It's just, it, but yeah, it is the finale of the first trilogy. So yeah, obviously, if you play the first the the, the first two games first you'll get uh, much more enjoyment because you spent more time with these characters before you even played this one game. But Again, yeah, I just all right, everybody. It has that after credit scene with Anton that suggests that, oh, you may not have played the second game. <laughs> well, well, actually, you need to use the password from Pandora's box to unlock that puzzle. So no, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Not so much the puzzle, but like the scene. I believe there's a precursor scene to it. Mm, no, it's just him talking in the puzzle itself, but whatever. Um, all right, everybody. In the next part, we end the campaign. See you. Oh, really. See you then. Oh, uh, see ya. Okay, then. See ya. <laughs> see ya.